Welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Faludi. Today we will be using arrays to divide three digit by two digit numbers with remaining. Let's try the problem 392 divided by 24. I can turn this into a missing factor problem and think of it as what times 24 equals 392? And I can also think about this in terms of an array where my total is 392. 24 is one of the dimensions, and I'm wondering, what is the other dimension? Thinking about that, I'm going to create a larger three-sided rectangle, with one dimension being 24. I'm going to think about what can I multiply times 24 to get me close to 392. Well, I know that 24 times 10 would be 240. So that's a good place to start. 24 times 10 equals 240. Now I need to think about how much I have left. So I'm going to be doing some subtraction. 392 minus 240 equals 152. So now I need to think what times 24 can get me close to 152. Well, if 24 times 10 is 240, then 24 times 5 would be half of that, which would be 120. So now I can take away 120 from the 152 and I have 32 remaining. So next I need to think about if I have 32 remaining, how many groups of 24 can I get into 32? I can only get one more group of 24 into that and 1 times 24 is 24. Here's where I need to close off my rectangle and I'm going to subtract 24 from my 32 and I'm left with 8. Now because this 8 is less than 24 I cannot get another group of 24. This means that this becomes my remainder and what I'm going to do is add my remainder onto my array and label it as remainder 8. And that my entire dimension here is going to be 10 plus 5 plus 1, which is a total of 16. So when I'm solving the problem 392 divided by 24, my final answer is going to be 16 remainder 8. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot about dividing numbers using arrays when there are remainders.